The harsh truth is that almost every single person who owns a clothing store is messing up their targeting on Facebook ads. They continue to use interest targeting, does well for a period, then drops off, and they never get consistency in their brand. The worst part is that interest targeting sounds logical. It really does. And it makes the most sense when running ads. But that's also why most people fail when it comes to running successful ads. Today, I'm going to show you how to run effective ads without losing momentum or profitability. This process is actually extremely simple and every clothing store can implement it today. But before we get into Ads Manager, I need to walk you through some history of targeting on Facebook. Interest targeting is the type of targeting that you can, or what Facebook says is detailed targeting over here in the interest section. So this could be, if you're a boutique, you're targeting like the pink lilies of the world. So it shows the pink lily right here. Or it could be Supreme. And what you're doing is you're finding people who are quote unquote interested in that brand. It could be competitors. It could be people who are in a similar industry. And it sounds great. It sounds amazing, as I mentioned previously. But the problem is that that audience wears out. Right now we have an audience size of 61 million to 72 million people, which sounds great and why they created this was because they wanted people to make it easier to go and actually find and start creating ads on Facebook this is also the early days of Facebook when this was really one of the only options and Facebook was just learning but Facebook has developed over time it's gotten better it's AI its algorithm has gotten so good that it actually can find the audiences for you one of the things about interest targeting that a lot of people don't realize is that for every interest you put in here you're paying a premium other people are also using supreme also using pink lily also using the ones that you are. The more that you focus on the interest targeting, the more premium you will pay. And then your targeting is done through constraints with Facebook versus opening it up wider. The detailed targeting will work in the short term. It will not work in the long term, especially if you start to scale. Now, that doesn't mean that just starting out, you don't do interest targeting. I would say that you'd really want to start out abroad and teach something to do the right way, right? Teach Facebook how to do something from the beginning the right way because it will help you scale long term. Not saying people can't see results with it. I really believe that you actually could. But what I'm telling you right now is that it's not sustainable. And it's only in a vacuum of what works on quote unquote Facebook. It's not an overall business model. Facebook used to grow your business. It used to be the only thing that drove sales. But now we know that there's a lot of other things that play a factor. Your website, your email, your SMS, postcards, organic content, all of those things play a factor in growing your business. And the last thing I want you to do is say that Facebook within the parameters of interest targeting have to be perfect for me to be able to grow my business and that's not the case. I'm gonna teach you how to use the right targeting for your business, how Facebook actually targets right now and what you can do to grow your business and not pay an actual premium. One other thing I wanna mention though is the unstable factors that go into interest targeting. The more people that bid on an interest, the more your costs will go up. If there's an election, if there are major events, if something happens in the world, your costs will go up because more people will be focused on the interest targeting. It's really unstable. But we go to an audience that we're gonna talk about a little bit later, it's going to allow you to have an even keel throughout. It will allow you to focus on your actual business model. So the question you're probably asking yourself is what do I do instead? If I'm not using this interest targeting over here in the detail targeting section, what should I do instead? And we're actually going to focus on what's called broad targeting. A lot of people call it open targeting. We're going to focus on age, gender, and location. The reason we want to do this is because we are going to let Facebook target off of a lot of other factors. I'll show you what those are here in a second. But first, let me show you what to do. So 18 to 65, we're going to go with the age range here let's go 25 to 64 if that's who we're going after we're not going after all genders we're going after women and then we're going to do advantage plus placements leaving this as a seven day click one day view leave that how it is how is facebook going to find my audience well it does that through tons of other data points but your Facebook page is categorized. Your content you're posting on your Facebook and your Instagram that Facebook can see. All right, so the question is, how does the targeting happen? The target happens through the actual page. So the page that you're, the content that you're creating on Facebook, the content you're posting on Instagram, it also is done through the creative that you post here on your ads. So if you choose your page, let's go through here, and then the content that I'm putting on there, Facebook can actually tell if you're taking a picture of a dress. It can tell if you're taking a picture of a skirt. It can tell if you're taking a picture of some jeans. And honestly, that's kind of a trick if you have not seen that before. Facebook looks at images and then it categorizes you. It puts you into a box. So when you're going broad, I almost say to use product photos and actually zoom in on those product photos of a picture of a shirt or a dress and make sure that it works. Now, you may be able to get more people to stop the scroll if it's a lifestyle photo or a video, which is great, but Facebook won't be able to categorize it as easily 
if you don't have something that actually clearly says this is a shirt because Facebook it can read and it can take images, but it doesn't know exactly what it is. But that's what the good thing about broad targeting is that if you use good creative and you say, I'm going after women in this area, right? And then I also have a picture of a dress. Well, guess what? It's going to find, Facebook is going to find people who are wearing a dress or going to other sites browsing for dresses and then your dress will show up on their feet. It will do the targeting for you. Now it may say oh, we're going after 100 million people. It's really not. It's going after a pocket of a pocket because it's going to go off of your estimated action rate, which is how likely somebody is to take an action on your ad, which means the quality of the content needs to be good or at least categorized into something that is actually accurate. It also needs to make sure that it also, I guess at this point, it focuses on your bid strategy. So how much money are you bidding versus to somebody else if you're bidding 50 or $100 a day versus somebody's bidding a thousand and then it takes into consideration the quality of your ad or the more of the landing page that it goes to your website is the quality of the website making sense so Facebook does the targeting from your website as well so if your website it says we are a women's clothing boutique then you have an ad that shows a women's dress and then your targeting says that it's going after a woman well then guess what it's going to start to categorize and find people within your demographic within your sphere of uh, customers who are likely to buy that dress. And then guess what? The, the biggest part here, your headlines and primary text can be all about what you're actually selling. A women's dress, an offer for a women's dress. Side note here, if you don't have a good offer, it's going to be hard to have a high converting site as well. Facebook actually ranks you based off of if you have a good enough offer. So make sure that whenever you're talking about that dress or you're doing a summer launch or a collection or a Christmas launch or collection or anything like that, that when you're categorizing this and you're going after the women, you're selling those dresses, that you also look at making sure to give an amazing offer, which is like, hey, get 15% off plus free shipping plus a free gift. Now you've added value to people and they're like, ooh, this is a good offer. But you can do all of that in this, in this ad right here. And the more people who go to your site, the more people who are likely to take action. And the more people who take action gives more data back to Facebook to show it to more people like the people who purchased. And if those people who purchased did well, they had a great experience, Facebook will find more of them. It will continue to learn. So the question is, is Facebook broad targeting, which we're mentioning here, going to be amazing out the gate? Probably not if you're just starting out. But what it is, is that over time, over the next month, the next 30, 40, 50 days or so of you creating great content, it will get smarter and smarter and smarter. And all of those people who did well in the beginning, they'll become that rabbit versus the tortoise. And we know that the tortoise always wins. So they'll come out hot. They'll do really well as interest targeting. Then they're going to die out. They can't scale past $50 a day budget, $100 a day budget. They're just stuck there. They're like, hey, we're good with our 2x return. 3x return while you're passing them, scaling them, spending hundreds of dollars per day and taking this business to the absolute next level. Something to consider here. You may be thinking, well, I'm only spending $30 a day. I'm only spending $50 a day. I can't imagine spending $100 a day, $3,000 a month and then making 10, 20, $30,000 a month. But what I can say is that you have to start planning for the future. I don't care if you're spending $30 a day or $50 a day or $100 a day right now. You have to be thinking about the future as well. So planting those seeds now and giving broad targeting what it needs because it's the most stable. You can spend hours inside of Ads Manager or you could spend minutes inside of Ads Manager. Does not matter the the targeting is going to be done with everything else that I mentioned, which doesn't mean that you don't spend time in Ads Manager. What it does mean is that you're gonna spend less time inside of this machine and more time focusing on bigger business problems. Because it's not about interest targeting that's messing up your business. It's the fact that you're focused only on Facebook to generate the sales with your business. You have to have a business model that's successful. And the most stable way to have a business model that's successful is through broad targeting with Facebook and then letting your website, email, SMS, postcards, organic content, any other type of new ways to reach customers, those areas are what are allowing your business to grow to that next level. Facebook's just an awareness play. And then when you can focus on broad targeting, get a return, have the sustainability and the stableness to grow to that next level, then, and only then do you have a business model that's successful as well. Cause we're talking about how do you build a company? I could give you all the tricks and, and tactics and strategies ever to make a successful Facebook ad. 
But if you don't have a successful business model to back up that Facebook ad, then it's not going to work. So you have to make sure you look at the big picture here. So if you're one of those people who's like, okay, well, I'm just getting started on Facebook, I'm just starting on my business, or maybe you've been doing it for a long time, but you just don't have a successful business model, I would challenge you right now to schedule a free strategy call. We only have limited spots for the strategy call, but if you want to have a strategy call and look at the cohesiveness, the overall strategy of your business, just schedule a link down below. It's 45 minutes, we're gonna walk through, screen share, jump on Zoom, and actually walk through a business model that makes sense for you outside of the siloed focus on just Facebook ads, because that's only one piece in your business. If you want to schedule that call, just click the link down in the description down below. Now, the question you guys are probably asking is, what do I do? How do I create this ad? Well, let's go over to Ads Manager and I'll show you inside of here what you should actually do that is working right now. This is what we're working for all of our clients, all of our program members, exactly how to set up this ad. You're going to go over to hit this create button. You're going to create a new campaign. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one right now so you have this accurate. You're going to go ahead and hit sales. You're going after conversions, you're going after purchases, manual sales campaign. You can label it however you would like. I'm just gonna put new sales campaign right now for the point of this video. The naming matters, but not as much as it matters that it makes sense for you. Advantage plus budget, that means it's spread out. The budget is spread out across multiple ad sets. I would suggest that you do that. Budget per day, start out at $100 a day, you can start out at $50 a day, I wouldn't go much lower than that. But start at a budget that you feel comfortable that you can run for a long period of time. Just never stop running the ads. Doesn't mean you don't adjust them, but it does mean that you keep running the ads for a long period of time. All right, the point we're talking about here, we're going to the ad set. Make sure you turn on dynamic creative. Dynamic creative allows you to take multiple images, multiple headlines, multiple descriptions, and then Facebook will create a combination of the best of those to create a super ad. This will allow you to spend less money on reaching more people and Facebook will create the best post ID for you that you can use later to actually scale. So let's go ahead and go through here. We're also gonna focus on age, gender, location. So we'll focus on 25 to 64 years old. And let's go to women and then Vantage Plus placements, do all placements here. And then let's go to the ad level. Make sure you choose your Instagram. I'm gonna select my images that I have here. I'm gonna choose just random ones that I have. You can choose whatever you'd like. Make sure that you focus on the ones that are actually high converting. I'm just doing three random ones here that are all basically graphics. And then we do suggest that you test out different things like lifestyle photos, graphic, product images. What's working right now really well is product catalogs. So just as a side note, check those out. We are gonna optimize each creative for each person. We're gonna type in a couple of primary texts, a couple of headlines. So we do shop the latest fashion trends. You can hit add text option and you can put in a second one. Also, what I would suggest is that you write this copy out on a Google Doc. The point of this video is to show you how to set it up, not the copy one, which those are all broken down into other videos that we have on how to set up Facebook ads specifically to scale your clothing store. This is focused on how do you make broad targeting actually work? So make sure that you go through here, write out your, your headlines and your primary text on a Google Doc. I think that's the best way to kind of visualize it before you copy and paste inside of here. So I put, put out two primary texts, two headlines. Make sure that you put your website URL display link you only need to do that if you need to shorten the URL if it's something like forward slash dresses or forward slash whatever and you want to send them to the core URL or at least show the primary URL that you have which would be just bitbrain.co forward slash and that's it or bitbrain.co forward slash dresses or whatever that would be only if you wanted to put that on there that's what the display link means Make sure that it's shop now. Make sure you choose the select domain app events if you're using something like Comment Sold, which we suggest, live selling. All right, make sure everything is good there. Now, you have a good idea of what broad targeting is. If you have questions, I know there's probably a ton of questions on them. Drop those down below. Okay, so if you bought into broad targeting and you know that it will be successful to your business, you just need to know how to like take it to that next level, how to help write copy, how to figure out your creative, all of those things from A to Z on what to do. We have a video for you right here that you need to go watch next. This is exactly what you need to do to set up your ads for success. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And P.S., please make sure you hit the subscribe button. We put out new content for you every single week.